This is the pinna. This is the external auditory meatus, is the opening and the tube in there. And this is the nipple. Then in the female, this is the urinary meatus or the urethra. This is the vaginal orifice or the vagina. And this is the anus. Then in the male, this is the penis. And this is the scrotum. Then you don't have to know your muscles. Then remember you have to know thoracic cavity. So the diaphragm is what separates it. If you are above the diaphragm, you're in the thoracic cavity. And this is the lung and that's the heart. Then this is the diaphragm. Then we're in the abdominal cavity. So if you're below the diaphragm, this is the abdominal cavity. And then we have the intestines. We have the liver. We've got the pancreas, which is under the spleen. And so here's the spleen. And then there's the kidney. And then we also have the reproductive organs there, like the uterus that you see right here in the female. Okay, thank you. Then you don't, then uh, we do have to know parietal pleura. So here's your parietal pleura. That is the membrane that lines the chest cavity. You don't have to know visceral pleura. You don't have to know pericardium. Then the parietal peritoneum is the membrane that lines the abdominal cavity. And then this is your true mesentery. And you don't have to say true. All you have to do is just say mesentery. Then we look at the digestive system. So in the digestive system, the tube, if I can get it where you can actually see it, the tube going into the stomach is the esophagus. This is the stomach. Top part of the stomach is the fundus. Bottom part is the pylorus. Where it pinches right here is that pyloric sphincter or pyloric valve. This is the first part of the small intestine, which is the duodenum. Uh, the coily part that you see like right in here in this part, all of that, that is the jejunum. And then if we look at this one, here is the cecum. So the end of the small intestine is the ileum right here. Remember, I will do this and I will say like red pen section and that's the duodenum. White pen section and that's the jejunum blue pin section and that's the ileum and then I'll say red white and blue pin structure and that would be the small intestine. Okay then again here's your cecum then this is the large intestine or the colon I don't care which one you call it and then here's the rectum and then right above the tail there's the anus. Okay then you have to know the liver it's an accessory digestive gland, food doesn't pass through it. And then you have to know the pancreas, which once again is hanging underneath the spleen. Okay, then you have to know the trachea right here. And then it splits into the primary bronchi right there and right there. And then there's the lung. And then we go to the heart. And so when we look at the heart, this is the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. So remember, you're looking at the rat, so it's right and left, or the reverse of yours. Then this arch over the top of the heart, right there, it's kind of hard for me to get you to see. That is the aortic arch. First branch off of it is the anominate. The anominate splits into, if I can get the blue out of the way, the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery go straight up. Then this is the left common carotid artery going straight up. And then this one over here on the outside right there is the left subclavian artery. Then we go down here and the blue going into the kidney is the renal vein. The pink going into the kidney is the renal artery. The blue in the back is the inferior vena cava, and the pink is the abdominal aorta. Okay, then here's your spleen, 
And this is the thymus. Looks like a little cap sitting on top of the heart. So that's the thymus. You don't have to know any endocrine glands. Then we look at the urinary system. So here's the kidney. This tube is the ureter. Here's the bladder. And then this would be the urinary meatus or the urethra. Then we look at the male, and this is the testis, the tube on the back right here. That's the vas deferens. This is the penis, and that's the scrotum. Then in the female, all you have to know is this uterus and see it has a common spot right there and it goes up one side and then it goes up this side. This one is blue. The one on the test is not blue. So don't let that blue throw you. That's it.